beseech you, punish me not with your hard thoughts, wherein I confess me much guilty, to deny so fair and excellent ladies anything. But let your fair eyes and gentle wishes go with me to my trial, where, if I be foiled, there is but one shame it that was never gracious. If killed, I shall do my friends no wrong, for I have none to lament me. Only in this world I fill up a place which may be better supplied when I have made it empty. The little strength I have, I wish it were with you. And mine, to eke out hers. <laughs> Fare you well. I pray heaven I be deceived in you. Your heart's desires be with you. Come! Where is this young gallant <laughs> who so desires to lie with his mother earth? Ready, sir. You shall try but one fall. No, sir. I warrant your grace. Do not entreat him to a second who hath so mightily persuaded him from a first. And you mean to mock me after? You should have not mocked me before. But come your ways. Oh, now hurt me! Hurt me, speed thy speed, young man! I would I were invisible to catch the strong fellow by the leg! No! <laughs> 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 I'm not yet well breathed. I got thy child. <laughs> Cannot speak, my lord. Bear him away. What is thy name, young man? Orlando, my liege. The youngest son of Sir Roland's voice. I would you had been son to some man else. 